the sorcerer has chosen 14 wannabe magicians to attend his unique magic school. One of them will be crowned the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Good morning, everybody. And welcome. I'd like complete silence while I'm talking, please. From this point on, these trainees will be living under the all-seeing eyes of house mistress, Miss Ford. A whole new world awaits these aspiring magicians. The Sorcerer's Magic School is no holiday camp. Behind these walls, a strict regime of dedication, detail and discipline awaits. The Sorcerer has selected some of the finest magicians in the country. Mr Knight will instruct the boys. While the girls are to be tutored by Miss Evans. Let the magic begin. Good afternoon, ladies. Come on in, grab a seat around the table. Well, welcome. My name is Miss Evans. Never swap boxes, never lose your box, never give anything from your box to anybody else, particularly the boys. Please take out your yellow handkerchiefs. Time for Miss Evans to demonstrate what these simple props can do when you add the magic touch. Do exactly as I do. If you would, grab your handkerchiefs. Run them through your hands like so. Perfect. Put them back into the fist. And when it comes out the bottom, it should be red. Yeah? No? OK. Hmm, perhaps the yellow ones are broken. All right, we'll try it this other way. Take the red handkerchief out, put the yellow one back. Make sure your sleeves are up. People always think magicians cheat using their sleeves. A good idea to pull them up from time to time. Red handkerchief. The red handkerchief through the hand. Push it in. It will come out green. OK? Red handkerchief in the fist. It'll come out green. In red. Or maybe the magic touch isn't coming naturally to these sorceries. So what I want you to do is give me your idea on how you think that was performed. Ellie? I think you, you squeeze the, the other one up as much as you can. And then when you put one in, you pull the other one out. Right. I push it into my hand. Yeah, push that one in. But you would have another one in your hand, so you pull the another other Another one like that in my hand. Right. So I would have another one in here. But you're going to open your hand, it's not going to be in Exactly. There. Because if I, if I did, it wouldn't be magic, would it? <laughs> ten out of ten for mess there, Megan. A little more confidence behind that. I would rather see that than no attempt, OK? I'd rather see you try and fail than not try. All right! OK. Very well done. Next door, the girls' concentration was impressive, but their expertise left a little to be desired. I think these girls have quite a mountain to climb. Um, I hopefully can get them up that mountain in the time we have, but there's a few of them. I have my doubts. <laughs> but whatever their skill level, the girls have certainly caught the magic bug. I'm good. Go you. Art and history is and magic and secrets I learned was a secret treasure. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Yes, I did it. I feel a little bit inspired, but, but um, I don't I think I'm ready to like perform any magic tricks yet. She would do the cut, the hanky trick, and she opened her other hand, nothing was in it, and we were checking her sleeves, and you couldn't see anything. <laughs> but how do you do that? I'm confused. <gasps> 